So today I have a really great video for you. Um, we purchased a sun oven actually a few years ago and really haven't used it much, but this is going to be the summer that we're going to break that thing out and we're going to use it a whole lot. And um, wanted to bring you along as we uh, put a roast in for a Sunday supper. The roast turned out really well and I think you'll be surprised at just how how good a, a roast can do in the sun oven. The other thing I wanted to say is that if there's anything that you would like for me to uh, cook or bake using the sun oven that you might be curious about, go ahead and comment below and let me know and we'll see what we can do. We'll, we'll come up with some recipes. I guess you could say this is the start of a series uh, off-grid sun oven cooking. The type of sun oven that we have is the All-American, which is, I don't think, the same company as the All-American Canner, but um, it's still a really good uh, good company, and I look forward to seeing what you think about uh, the roast that, that I made in the sun oven, and also um, decided to make some corn on the cob, which also turned out really good. So just enjoy and uh, let me know what you think. And right here we uh, preheated the sun oven by uh, opening it up and actually uh, aiming the reflectors directly at the sun. And as you see, once you do this, um, the reflectors will kind of act as the burners, I guess. And uh, you'll see that as the uh, sun oven sits in the sun, it'll preheat for you. So now we're going to assemble our roast so that we can get it on the sun oven. Uh, the sun oven is preheating and we're going to put this on here and then we'll be ready to go. And then I can go on and do other things with my ovens. Okay, this roast is a beef shoulder roast and I paid $8.64 for it. So here we go. I'm going to give a little bit of a spray to my pot. Now this is just um, the pot that came with the sun oven, one of them, but you can use a glass casserole, you know, whatever you want to use. You don't have to use what came with it. If it's safe for your oven, then it's safe for your sun oven. That's the rule of thumb. Okay, so we've got our roast in there. This is gonna be so easy, y'all. This is like the most easy thing to put in your sun oven. And this is what we're gonna start with. I always put a cup of leftover coffee in there because when you do that, it gives a richness to your roast and that liquid is just so good. It's better than using water and it's just as good as using a beef broth. This is some of my homemade um, onion soup mix. Now I'm going to tell you where I, the um, recipe that I use is the one that Lisa Sutton has over on Sutton's Days and I will try to link that for you so you can go over and you can see how she does it because it's phenomenal and it's better than those store-bought envelope, envelopes, which I have some of those store-bought envelopes, but this is so much better so I choose to use it. And I think it's five tablespoons, and you'll have to look at her video to be sure. That equals a uh, an envelope, 
but I don't really think I'm gonna use that most that much. I think that a couple of tablespoons will be enough. See how that coats that? So there goes that. Now, I'm gonna add just a little bit of um, garlic powder because we like garlic powder. And then, this is my homemade um, pepper mix that I dehydrate and mix, which I'm about out of, and I've got to make some more. And I can uh, link my video to how I make that so you can see. And I'm just gonna add a tablespoon. This stuff is so good, I love it. Love it, I add it to a lot of things. And then last but not least, we're going to add a can of golden mushroom soup. I know a lot of people use the cream, and I have the cream too, but for my roast, there's just something about the, uh, the golden mushroom soup that I just, uh, I like it better. It gives a, it's a little bit richer, and it's, it's just a little bit different. But I do use both. I, like, I, I do kind of go back and forth. And then I'm just gonna kind of get some of that liquid and kind of mix all this up. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. If you're looking for perfect, you're, on the, you're looking at the wrong channel because I don't do perfect. I wish I could, but then again, I wish I'd, I'm glad I don't because perfect would be pretty boring because then you would do something once and say, oh, that was perfect. And then it's like, what's next? Okay, so we basically have our roast ready to go in the sun oven. I'm just going to put the top on and um, that's what it looks like. And I'll meet you out at the sun oven and we'll, we'll get this baby started. See you in a few. Okay, we're right at 250, and we're gonna go ahead and set it in there. So, it's in there. I may, here after a while, add a couple of vegetables or something to go in there too. Might as well let it do everything, right? We'll see. Okay, we'll check on it a little while. We're up at 250. What time of day is it, about 11? It's around 11 o'clock in the morning. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so here it is. The sun oven roast. Mmm, look at that. I'm gonna take some of this um, yummy liquid and turn it into gravy. While I was at it, I also put some uh, corn on the cob in the sun oven too and look at this I put this on around 1 o'clock 12 to 1 o'clock and I just let it stay in there too so what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna let you find people go because I bet you're thinking I want some roast or something yummy like that I'm going to make some gravy. I think we're going to have some broccoli. And um, the husband requested some rice to go with the gravy. So that's what we're going to have tonight. And um, sun oven cooking all from the sun. And it smells great. We were smelling it all day outside. And um, it didn't take any electricity. So if you're thinking about... How would you cook off the grid? This is just one more, um, one more option, one more way to have that um, that option in your arsenal, and also a good way to save on uh, electricity because the sun doesn't charge electricity, doesn't charge for its use, and that looks delicious. I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna see if it tear. If I can tear into it. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that, y'all. It just falls apart. Oh my heavens, that looks so good. Anyway, I'm gonna let you go. If you like 
what what I do here, if um, if you wouldn't mind, if you'd give me a like, if you would uh, share with your friends, um, subscribe to my channel, and uh, click that little notification button. I know, Rosebud, we're gonna eat soon. Rosebud is over here. She's been smelling this all day outside. But anyway, if you wouldn't mind clicking that notification bell so you'll know when I have something new up. Anyway, I appreciate it, guys. Y'all have a great week, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.